happy 2019 Gunman Raw followers. So this is my first video for the year. Um, yeah, let's hope it's a good one with uh, lots of paint jobs. So I started back at work yesterday. Today is the 8th, Tuesday the 8th as of recording this vid. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a good Christmas period and holiday break and all of that. I would like to quickly apologize about the, the, uh, the last four videos that went up onto this channel. I was trying to improve the audio, um, however I ended up with the massive, um, yes, uh, <laughs> what's the opposite of improvement? Uh, it's not coming to me. Yeah, it, <laughs> a massive downgrade in audio quality. So um, we're on to it. I've got a guy from the US, uh, Brendan, Reader, I think it is, something like that. Brendan, anyway, we'll just call him Brendan. Um, he was the one that originally said, hey man, try getting a throat mic. They're actually something that are uh, generally used for like nightclubs and um, like security guys. Uh, they'll have these uh, little intercom type things on and they've got throat mics which will basically cut out all the, um, the loud background noise. But either way, the setup that I got um, just ended up being um, really muffled and mono sound so for now we're just going to go back to what we were what we did have um, until we get that sorted out so yeah apologies about that um, apart from that yeah hope you all had a great break I had a great break um, I'm back feeling fresh and relaxed I just stayed around first spent some time with the missus and uh, didn't really do anything, uh, didn't go on hol holidays or anything, just relaxed and I feel like I've got a, you know, a bit of stuff done um, around the home and yeah, just a bit of well-deserved relaxing. Uh, get this respirator on. on his shoulder. So he's back now. He's still got his arm in a sling, so he's only sort of at half capacity, but better than nothing. And yeah, I'm feeling good. As I said, I, I feel like I achieved a few things. You know, I made a few videos at home that I've wanted to do for a while. I got to do a, vi a couple of videos using the home compressor. I did a video on me spraying my uh, old Nintendo entertainment system, the old Nintendo. Um, so yeah, got a few videos done for the main channel and um, yeah, a bit of re relaxation as well, so that yeah, was good. And as I say, just come back feeling like a new man. So this channel here, it, just, it had just a bit of a, a scratch in it and the boss brought it down. He said, put this in front of any of your other jobs. It's more important. He said, I'll just get the bottom pulled off for you. And, uh, yeah, just fix that chip or the scratch. So I just, um, feathered the scratch out, put a bit of the Chromax UV primer over it. I'm going to use the wash off it. I've got this, um, UV primer curing light. One minute, dry, sand it down in the boat, you know? So, yeah, that's that uh, UV curing thought. You've definitely seen speeding the process up a bit for me. I might even go low pressure for the last coat. I did, it's probably a touch too low. I did check the, um, the color and I did have to match it a little bit, but it'll be fine for the, for the pump hole to fix there and that's, that's blending everywhere else. Just keep it small, keep it to those lines. That's ready to clear, Gunners. So yeah, it's a pretty warm day here today. Must be above or around 30 degrees. I did decide to put slow hardener in the, in the clear today. 
just says it is a pretty hot one. So I'll put a coat on. First coat's not going to be too heavy. It's not going to be like really, really heavy or anything like that, but um, I'll get, still give it a couple of minutes. Black off. I'll put another one on and we're done. So I mixed up 450 mils of clear for this job. Probably not going to need it all, but I'd rather have it than and not need it than, yeah, not have it and need it. The guy is about to go in and spray a couple of bumper covers, so saying that this is so hard enough, if I don't use, if I leave 100 mils, he'll be able to use it up on his job, so it's not going to go to waste this stuff. That's a nice new pack rag, as you probably noticed, the spray is all nice and clean. And you can see there, that's all flashed off dry enough within minutes to um, pack rag straight over. So I sprayed a Suzuki Alto yesterday, just um, a big, decent sized job actually, it's like a new quarter panel, new rear door, rear bumper cover, blend on the front door, all, and all the jam and still cover, still panel. Anyway, let's clear and complete our first one for a light in my hand for the use. Um, yesterday I used a supernova. If I wanted to, it looks so nice. But yeah, it's like, I still get some people asking, oh, do you reckon the Supernova is better than the Pro Light? My answer is probably going to have to be no. I prefer the control of my Pro Light over the speed of the Supernova. I find it hard to get that exactly how I want it to spray, but it's always going to spray a bit different because it's such a cool look. It's an eye fan pack. Lots of people are now familiar with that through the United States latest spray gun, but yeah, I want to have been using that, that fan pack for quite some time. But um, that's actually looking quite, quite neat, as you would expect, I guess. It's all just cleared as no real bait coat over there. So as I say, yeah, we just give that a couple of minutes. Um, can't really think of anything to say in between coats, so I might just flick that cam off for a couple of minutes. I'll see you when I'm putting the second coat on. Radio YouTube, so yeah, make sure it's probably only been two minutes. I just sat down for a couple of minutes and um, that's packed off. It's, as I say, it's not nice, nice and hot day here today. So yeah, the clear I'm using is standoff standard clear. That's just the clear that we use at this shop. It's reasonably priced, um, but it's all quality clear too. GTI Pro Light Vigilante Edition T20 1.3 And as you're about to see This is why, for me, this gun gets the top spot Because it just, for me, it just puts the right amount of paint in the right spot It uses um, just the right amount of material I, I haven't found a gun that's more efficient than it Some of them are close, but you know, that's capable of getting the nice quality finish without, you know, overloading the material. Another great thing about these guns is they're not going to break the bank. You can get them for around five to six hundred Australian dollars. They're built well. The vertical pile. So yeah, that's three and a half turns out on the fluid, full fan and two bar pressure. 
nothing wrong with that, mate. That's just fine. So I'm going to um, go here and clean these couple of gums out. Give that five to ten minutes before I bake it. So I don't use about 400 mils. So I mix up 450. There's about 50 mils left in there. Yeah, that job came up pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with it. I might put that respirator on and shut my mouth. Yeah, man.